Hey guys, this is Adrian Nye, Registered Dietitian, Healthy Eating and Weight Loss Coach. And today I'll be talking about clean eating and why it doesn't work to get to your weight loss goals. The first thing is that there is no formal definition of what clean eating is. It means different things for different people. Does it mean not eating any processed foods? Does it mean not eating any carbs if you're on a keto diet? Does it mean not eating anything from the dirty dozen list? So the dirty dozen is the 12 crops that have the most pesticides according to the environmental working group. What's the answer? There is no formal definition of what clean eating is. That's the truth. But oftentimes some people even consider whole foods like potatoes not to be clean versus something similar like sweet potato is considered a healthy food. But in actuality, both are healthy starchy vegetables that are full of nutrients that are good for us. And in terms of processing for clean eating, what does that even really mean? Foods go through some level of processing before it reaches to us. For example, rice being white, brown, or wild must go through some sort of processing to get to us to be edible. Rice does go through a milling process where the inedible hull, so the outside, is removed for us to be able to eat it. So then this highlights what is the formal definition of clean eating. So it depends on the person. Also the notion of clean eating can be unrealistic to apply for your life and also cause you to have an unhealthy relationship with food as well. If you can't enjoy eating with your friends or family, going out to eat, or drinking alcohol, if you drink alcohol, then what's the point? And also if you're guilt ridden when you're not eating clean, this can develop into orthorexia, which is defined as an obsession with eating clean. And also, just because you eat clean doesn't automatically mean that you'll lose weight. You can eat too much clean food and still gain weight. So for example, if you're only eating chicken breast and broccoli all day, but if you're eating loads of chicken breast, you're still over your calorie deficit, which will prevent you from losing weight in the long run. And also, if you're trying to eliminate too many foods from your diet because you're trying to eat clean, you might not even be getting all the nutrients you need for your body to function properly and for your metabolism to run. For example, back to the chicken breast and broccoli diet. If you're just eating chicken breast and broccoli all the time, you're also not getting enough vitamin D and calcium. And this is already an issue as 80% of men and 90% of women are already not meeting their calcium needs and 50% of adults are also not meeting their vitamin D needs. So if you're being even more restrictive, you're even likely not going to be meeting your nutrient needs for your body to function properly and to be healthy in the long run. So what should you do instead? You want to create a plan that you can keep in the long run that does include whole foods as well as foods that you enjoy eating that may not be whole foods. And what you want to remember is that you do not need to eat 100% clean in order to lose weight. Again, there's no formal definition of clean, right? So let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me.